love bugs is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourselves. I know not every day is going to be a positive day, but you try to find, you know, the best in and every day you try to find something to be grateful for so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just um uh good good vibes or even good information um that you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me as well as yourself and it's greatly appreciated oh, my ear ain't bleeding oh i'm sorry um thank you for the love and support you're giving me as well as the channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today, my um, meditation music that I'm listening to today is called Extremely Powerful, Pure, uh, Clean, Positive Energy, Tibetan Healing Music, Shamaic uh, Journey. Let me go ahead and turn that down. That's a little bit too loud. Um, yes, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, remember nothing great was accomplished being fearful or insecure. We should never be feel for our, feel up. Uh, fearful or insecure about things that we know we're heading towards you know these things you want to have in your life you have to be confident within yourself you know when i was doing my videos i used to get scared i ain't gonna even lie to y'all but you know i'm just like why am i being scared you know i'm i'm in front of my own computer or whatever and i can see if i was in front of millions of people that'd be a whole different story but you know i i had to be confident in the things that i was saying i had to be be able to you know if i wasn't confident why is the next person going to want to listen to me? You know, I should, you know, because there's times that, you know, I would think about second guessing myself at times when I first started. And I said, you know what, you, you can't be doing that. You know, if you're able to push these videos out and you're trying to help people as well as doing the things you need to do. Because at first, like I told y'all, if you've been with me for a while, you would know um, I first started doing my videos. Uh, letting the world know who I was, who, you know, who I was related to, where I was trying to find my family, get in touch with my family on my dad's side, and being able to find my, my biological mother, and stuff like that, and then it ended up turning into me, you know, letting people know I'm a twin flame, as well as the indigo, white witch, uh, INFJ, uh, Hayoka, and all these other things, along with my gift, and it was just a beautiful blessing to be able to do. Being able to help others, you know, help them find their way, adding to that piece of the puzzle on their journey, letting them know we can all make sense of this crazy stuff that we go through. Because it's like, it's hard to explain to somebody who is not on the same level as you because, you know, they're going to probably look at you like, what are you talking about? You know, and if you know that you, you're going for something, you should never be timid and scared. You know, there's a lot, um, a lot of... Uh, extended family that you know they're telling me you know hey Rosalind, i want to um do my own youtube channel i'm like go for it you know i'll help you out what do you need to know things you know i'm i'm just letting them know you know if you're doing something like me expect the unexpected you know when i always push out positivity and i'm you know I, i'm you know i don't sugarcoat anything but you know i'll let y'all know what y'all need to know about me um nobody is perfect you're like you know why am i going to sit up here and hide my past like i said who i'm related to you know when when things come out or whatever people are going to be trying to google me anyway trying to find out what i did but it's just the fact is i done told y'all all the things i did in my past so i'm just like dad they already knew about it now this time they'll probably just find a you know a mug shot or something like that then you know okay i did so it's just like it's not proving who i am now these are the mistakes that i did to lead me to where i'm at today so i'm just like i'm never 
discouraged about my past. Am I embarrassed about my past? You know, my family used to always tell me, you you should never do, you know, you shouldn't do the things that you do. You never know, you might be famous one day. And I'm just like, why would I be famous? And then, you know, and it's just like, okay, you don't, nobody has a perfect past. You did things that you probably haven't even told me. Or, you know, my parents have done things. You know what I'm saying? So, I love the fact that I can be open with you. Being able to tell you, okay, these are the things that I used to do. I used to be addicted to pills. I used to be addicted to weed. I used to chain smoke cigarettes. I used to have drinks every now and then. There was times that I had an alcoholic problem as well back in the day. But when I started smoking weed, you know, I was less of a drinker. So, it was always me dropping one thing and picking up another one. And now to actually be blessed and say I'm going on, well, shoot, five months, five months already. And that's a blessing, being clean and sober from everything. So it's just like I love what I do, you know, because it's just the fact is you, it's a blessing when you can be an empath and say, Rosalind, I was never addicted to drinking. I was never addicted to this. I was never addicted to that. I said, so you never had any kind of stimulant, any kind of thing that you went to escape for. You know, they're like, no, you a good one. <laughs> you are a good one. I said, that takes strength and strength alone because see, I am not going to lie. I used to go through seven blunts a day, you know, just thinking about all the things that I went through. I will not lie to you because I can actually say that. Yeah, I don't smoke anymore. You know, I had to, you know, I got the patch and all that stuff like that. Even if I smell it, there's times I'm like, ooh, it stinks. But then I'm like, ooh, it smells good. But I'm just like, you know, no, it's not worth it. You got this out of your life for a reason. You know, I used to feel like, oh, I needed to get this. Even though it helped me get to my higher self, I can be able to do that now without having to use a stimulant to get there. Because I always use that as an escape, you know, thinking it's going to escape from my problems or whatever. And it would still be there. So it's just like now I have to deal with things head on and sober. And that's a blessing to be able to do because I felt like I wouldn't be able to do my videos anymore. Or I wouldn't be able to do, you know, be able to get on here and tell you what I feel because of everything was, it seemed like it was um, just for me being able to smoke weed. It felt like I was to higher source and it was a lot easier to be able to get those and it's just like with me not being on any of those things I'm still getting the same you know the same results except I'm just getting them sober so it, it's like I had to have that faith in myself I had to have that confidence in myself that you can do this without having any kind of stimulant you don't need that in your life you know all it was is you're using it for you to escape from your problems being able to escape from all the the energy that was coming along because I would constantly hear other people's thoughts I would constantly hear other people's you know things that they were coming through in their head you know I could sit up here and say something to somebody and they're like, Rosalind, get out of my head. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I felt you, you say this and this and that. I felt you say this and this and that. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, this is just crazy. And it was like I was more open towards things. But it's just like, you know, it is what it is. I had to have confidence. I had to, you know, be able to trust in myself to know, hey, I can do this. And you can do the same thing. You know, yes, we fear what we don't understand. We fear that, you know, we don't know. Uh, what's going to come after tomorrow. A lot of us do that. That's a human thing. We all do that. You, but when you know you're heading towards something that you truly want in life that's going to better you, if you have children, you're trying to, you know, make sure your children are set, you know, you have to have that faith and confidence in yourself. You know, you can't get anything done if you fear, because, you know, that fear, that negative fear is going to be bringing you negative energy. You know, when you feel fear change, you know, and it's just like, you know, some people would tell me, Rosalind, I can't stop doing this. Yes, you can. If I can stop, you can stop, you know, because um, it was a lot to deal with the things that I dealt with, you know, knowing that, you know, your father is a celebrity and you constantly have to see his pictures everywhere. You know, it, it gets hard at times, but it's just like, you know what? I choose to listen to his music when I listen to it. I choose to look at his pictures when I choose to look at it. You know, if I feel like, you know, it's becoming too much for me, I'll just get off of social media. But it's just like being able to do these things, I had to get secure within myself. Yeah, there's other insecurities that I have about myself that I don't like. But whatever I don't like, you can be able to change. Instead of complaining about it, you can, okay, you complain. While you're complaining, go ahead and make sure you can change it. Because there's anything in your life that you don't like about yourself, you can always change it. But don't beat yourself up. And don't, you know, because I know a lot of people, they will talk bad about themselves or whatever. I used to do it as well. 
you know, put myself down. And it's just like, why should you do that? You, you wouldn't want somebody else coming at you doing that. So why would you do that? You know, even though my family has instilled that into me. But that's not a good excuse for it because I'm grown now. I don't, you know, they're not around me. So it's just the fact is I got to be able to tell myself you're beautiful. No matter how anybody sees you is how you feel about yourself. Don't look for yourself to be getting approval from people because, you know, not everybody's going to like you. There's going to be some people that are going to love you. There's going to be some people that hate you. And there's going to be somebody that's like, yeah, they're okay. You know, but you have to be able to val validate yourself. Being able to be that where you that's the time only time I can figure about you being narcissistic is about yourself when you need to place yourself on not placing yourself above a pedestal thinking you're better than anybody else but you have to think highly of yourself you know not to the point where you're belittling other people or you're being arrogant or antagonizing or anything like that but think highly about yourself saying okay I got this goal I have this dream that I'm going for and I have to be I have to give it my all. I have to give it everything. You, you can't have leave room for fear and doubt because when fear and doubt gets in, that can overrule you and that can mess you up in a really bad way that you don't need that. And you're wondering why things didn't come out right for you because you doubted yourself. You didn't put that trust in yourself. You didn't you put instill fear into yourself. And you should have been confident. Insecurities and fear does not mix when you're trying to get onto a goal or you're trying to go towards your dreams. You have to be able to trust yourself and say, you know what, if I mess up, okay, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. I'm not going to, you know, back out from this. Okay, if this, this thing go right this way, okay, let me try this way. So you should never give up on yourself. If you need to take a break, then that's fine. Take a break, but don't give up on the things that you truly want in your life. You know, if it's important to you and that, you know, that things that, you think about every single day you're not gonna give up something you think about every single day it won't let you because obviously this is heading towards you for a reason you're having your thoughts and visions for a reason you're going a certain way about certain things for a reason so you keep doing you you keep being proud you know if there's doubt you need to get those doubts out your head because if something led you towards that way obviously that was for a reason so you know make sure you don't have insecurities and, and any kind of doubt within yourself just say you're gonna make it no matter what but if somebody tells you no that means the next opportunity you keep going you keep moving but don't sit up here and just give up because things get hard and because I'm telling you anything you want in life and you it's gonna get too easy if it was easy for you to get it's not gonna last now if it has you jumping through monkey hoops saying okay this I gotta do that and I gotta do that and things still get hard at you negative negative things start coming at you folks start talking to you crazy because they see that light within you so they want to be able to shut you down you still keep moving you still keep moving. I have people, you know, family members laugh at me because I'm doing motivational speaking. I don't care. I know how many people, you know, I get like a handful of naysayers that have something bad to say about me. But I got millions of people that are sticking by my side and say, Rosalind, keep making these videos. You are helping me so much. Or there's people that said they, they were about to commit suicide but until they watched one of my videos. That That's a lot for me to keep going. Even though I might have to take a break a day or two, hey, I'm going to take that break a day or two. If I need to do that self-care myself, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I want to be able to push out loving energy towards people positive vibes you know you should believe in yourself i believe in you and i tell my kids all the time because i didn't have my family to instill that into me because they they seen that light inside of me and they just wanted to dim it all kind of ways they could put all kind of shades on me but when i see my kids and they're like mom i want to be this and this and this and that i said baby you can put your mind to anything you can put your mind to you can go ahead and do it you got this you know i'm very supportive of my kids y'all should know if you've been with me for a while you would know every day i was out here telling y'all about my daughter's website because she's trying to you know push out her book you know she's very talented and you know and she always said mom you know even though we bumped heads along for a long time you supported me when I didn't think I could get any kind of support from my parent and that, I mean that's a blessing for me so you keep doing what you need to do don't let anybody throw any kind of negative doubt in your head or try to dull your shine you know you are you for a reason so keep going with you for you things that you truly want in life and um i hope you're able to resonate like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line give me a thumbs up let me know how you feel about this you know if you're going towards something drop me a line you know i'll push out some um positive energy towards your way um i'm giving a shout out to jurassic mark 
Michelle Olsen and Lewis Johnson, much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. I love y'all all. I love all y'all. And peace and be wild.